Welcome to the Quantum Collective. On page 150 of this edition of The Closet of Sir Canem Digby Opened, we have a recipe for tea with eggs. And that's probably not what you're thinking. It is not boiled eggs that are then cracked and steeped in tea. It is different. This recipe is third or fourth hand um, from the 1600s. So I might question its accuracy, but we've tried it, my wife and I, and we both liked it, so someone was on to something. The Jesuit that came from China, Anno 1664, told Mr. Waller that there they use sometimes in this manner. To near a pint of the infusion, take two yolks of new laid eggs and beat them very well with as much fine sugar as is sufficient for this quantity of liquor. When they are very well incorporated, pour your tea upon the eggs and sugar and stir them well together, so drink it hot. This is when you come home from attending business abroad and are very hungry, and yet have not conveniency to eat presently a competent meal. This presently discusseth and satisfieth all rawness and indigence of the stomach, flieth suddenly over the whole body and into the veins, and strengtheneth exceedingly, and preserves one a good while from necessity of eating. Mr. Waller findeth all those effects of it thus with eggs. In these parts he saith we let the hot water remain too long soaking upon the tea which makes it extract into itself the earthy parts of the herb. The water is to remain upon it no longer that whiles you can say the miserere psalm very leisurely. Then pour it upon the sugar, or sugar and eggs. Thus you have only the spiritual parts of the tea, which is much more active, penetrative, and friendly to nature. You may from this regard take a little more of the herb, about one dram of tea will serve for a pint of water, which makes three ordinary drafts. You heard the man. We got these eggs, and we are going to separate them. You can see I am great at separating eggs. One. Almost broke that one. You wouldn't have even noticed if I didn't say it. Two. Stir, stir, stir. Get some sugar for this quantity of liquor. And stir, stir, stir again. That's pretty well incorporated.
<clears throat> so this is the part that is weird. I'm not a religious guy, but I'm going to read a song. Have mercy upon me, O God, after thy great goodness. According to the multitude of thy mercies, do away my offenses. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness and cleanse me from sin. For I acknowledge my faults and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only I have sinned and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified in thy saying, and clear when thou art judged. Behold, I was shapen in wickedness, and in sin hath my mother conceived me. But lo, thou requirest true in the inward parts, and shalt make me to understand wisdom secretly. Thou shalt purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me hear of joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Turn thy face from my sins, and put out all my misdeeds. Make me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. O give me the comfort of thy help again, and establish me with thy free spirit. Then shall I teach thy ways unto the wicked, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou art the God of my health, and my tongue shall sing of thy righteousness. Thou shalt open my lips, O Lord, and my mouth shall show thy praise. For thou desirest no sacrifice, else would I give it thee, but thou delightest not in burnt offerings. The sacrifice of God is a troubled spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, shalt thou not despise. O be favorable and gracious unto Zion, build thou the walls of Jerusalem. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with the burnt offerings and oblations. Then shall they offer young bullocks upon thine altar. Ugh, oh, that's like... The third time I've had to read that. Well, hey, would you look at that? That looks like some pretty nice tea. That smells like some pretty nice tea. Oh, I'm stirring left-handed. This can't go well. There we go. Let's hope I didn't do that wrongly and make scrambled tea eggs. You know what? Screw this. I need to dig around with the spoon. That's what I thought. Probably should have done this amount of water in a larger cup. Good enough. It's good enough for the Jesuit who had just left China. Good enough for Mr. Waller. Good enough for Sir Canelm Digby. Good enough for me. Look at that nice frothy muggy tea. Oh, got my nose right in it. This is a good quality tea I have, so that's really probably elevating this a bit. That's a good cup. The two egg yolks adds a nice creaminess. That the can't talk right, but the tea wouldn't have otherwise. And uh, there's not much bitterness in this. 
but if there was, I think that the eggs are kind of cutting that by a good deal. This is good. Oh, damn, touch my kettle. Um, my arm is getting hot. If you want to make some stuff from uh, the closet of Sir Canelm Digby, Digby Knight opened, uh, this is a good place to start. 